In the calm waters off South Korea, a state-of-the-art warship is making its mark. Its silhouette is sharp and sleek, with a towering radar mast and a dark gray steel hull that reflects the sunlight. The ship is the BRP Diego Selang FFG-07, the second of the Miguel Malvar-class frigates, currently undergoing a crucial stage in its journey, sea trials. The ship is not only a representation of technological advancement, but also a symbol of a paradigm shift in Philippine maritime defense. These trials are a critical step before the ship is officially handed over to the Philippine Navy PN. The process not only marks the progress of the ship's physical construction, but also reflects the accelerated modernization of Philippine maritime forces amidst intensifying geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific region. Acquisition Background From Corvette to Modern Frigate the BRP Diego Salang is part of a project to procure two advanced warships from HD Hyundai Heavy Industries HDHHI, in South Korea. Although initially classified as quote, 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 the technical specifications of these two ships exceed that category. These ships possess the same size, armament, and combat systems as, or even surpass, conventional frigates. Therefore, despite being called Corvette projects, both ships are technically full-class frigates. Before the BRP Diego Silang, the BRP Miguel Malvar FFG-06 was launched. Both form the basis of the Miguel Malvar class, named after Filipino revolutionaries who played a crucial role in the national independence struggle. The naming of these ships after heroes is part of the Philippine government's strategic approach to integrating national identity with military modernization. The transition from a corvette to a frigate design reflects the changing dynamics of the Philippine Navy's operational needs. The increasingly complex challenges in the West Philippine Sea and rising regional tensions demand a much more reliable and integrated surface combat capability. Furthermore, the corvette classification allows the government to circumvent some budget constraints, allowing for greater flexibility in the procurement process. The adopted design is the HDF-3200, a modernized derivative of the Incheon-class frigate, which has proven its effectiveness in the Republic of Korea Navy. The HDF-3200 integrates a variety of cutting-edge combat technologies and offers modularity that can be upgraded to meet future needs. Technical Specifications and Operational Capabilities BRP Diego Silang is a frigate with a length of approximately 120 meters, a displacement of nearly 3,200 tons, and a sufficiently long operational range to support operations beyond the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone EEZ. Compared to its predecessor, the Jose Rizal-class frigate HDF-2600, this ship features significant improvements in several areas. Radar and sensor systems includes a multi-function radar for simultaneous air and surface detection. Anti-submarine warfare ASW systems, integration of towed array sonar, hull sonar, and the possibility of launching lightweight torpedoes. Air and surface defense, ready for future integration of a vertical launch system VLS, as well as anti-ship missile launchers and a 76mm main gun. Helicopter capabilities, deck and hangar space are available to support the AW-159 Wildcat, or similar platform for ASW and SAR missions. However, one of the most prominent features of the BRP Diego Salang, marking a significant leap in ship protection, is the presence of the Gok Dennis Close-In Weapon System CIWS, manufactured by Aselsan Turkey. This CIWS system provides a crucial last-line defense against cruise missiles, drones, and short-range attack aircraft. The presence of the Gok Dennis complements the frigate's comprehensive weapon system. The Gokdenes uses 235mm barrels with an intelligent airburst system, Atom 35mm, that explodes in the vicinity of the target, increasing the chance of destroying small, fast-moving targets such as supersonic anti-ship missiles and drones. Positioned above the helicopter hangar, this system provides optimal rear air defense coverage for the ship. In addition to its automatic detection capabilities, the Gokdenes is also connected to the ship's main combat management system, CMS to provide rapid reaction to sudden threats. 
The combination of this CIWS system with other weapon elements demonstrates the BRP Diego Silong's multi-layered approach to defense. 1. OTO Malara 76mm Super Rapid Main Gun, effective against surface, air and land threats with high precision fire. 2. SSM-700K Haesong Anti-Ship Missile, a South Korean-made missile with a range of over 150 kilometers. 3. K-745 Blue Shark Lightweight Torpedo, for underwater threats, launched from an integrated launcher. 4. Electronic Warfare and Decoy System, to disrupt enemy tracking and deflect incoming missiles. 5. VLS and SAM Upgrade Capability, structurally prepared for medium to future air defense. With the full integration of all these systems, BRP Diego Salong is not only capable of attacking offensively, but also of surviving in a variety of modern naval warfare scenarios. Sea Trials – Validating a Future Combat Ship The Sea Trial phase is a crucial phase that every warship must go through before being officially declared operationally fit. For the BRP Diego Salang, Sea Trials include various testing components involving propulsion and maneuverability performance, navigation and radar systems, combat systems integration, live weapons tests, communications and command system validation. According to the Department of National Defense, the BRP Diego Salang is scheduled to complete all these tests by September 2025. Upon completion, the ship will be declared combat ready and delivered to the Philippines. In the Procurement Monitoring Report PMR, for the first half of 2025, the Frigate Full Complement project was a key highlight. This project aims to add additional frigates to strengthen the structure and readiness of the Philippine Navy, with the HDF-3200 design likely remaining. The Philippines' geographical location as a strategic, archipelagic nation makes it vulnerable to maritime challenges. The BRP Diego Salang and its sister ships serve not merely as armed coast guards, but as projections of the nation's power, ready to conduct A2AD missions, joint patrols with allies, and humanitarian assistance operations. Symbolic Dimension – Diego Salong in History and Maritime Affairs The name Diego Salong is now part of the Philippines' modern defense narrative, a symbol of resistance against colonial oppression. This name now stands for a state-of-the-art frigate that safeguards maritime sovereignty in the 21st century. BRP Diego C. Lang is a tangible manifestation of the Horizon 3 phase of the AFP modernization. It is designed to operate in a multi-domain environment, serving as a pillar of sea power, leading to a more independent, adaptive, and prepared armed force facing complex regional challenges. Conclusion A symbol of the Philippines' 21st century maritime revival, when BRP Diego Salang cuts through the seas with the number 07 on its bow, it carries more than just a steel hull and combat systems. It carries hope, determination, and a national strategy to become a sovereign and modern maritime nation. With weapon systems like the Goktanese CIWS now integrated, this ship is not only technologically powerful, but also reflects the Philippines' courage in navigating a new and challenging maritime era.